Welcome to Prophetic Information Ministries, where we blow the trumpet, the shofar, around the world, informing you with prophetic news and bringing God's miracle ministry to the world. My name is Minister Robert Lee Williams, and uh, I'm, this is part three on the teachings on the prophets of God. So I would encourage you, if you're just now tuning in, go to part one, go to part two, and then come back to part three. That way you don't miss anything. Very important that you get this whole teaching. And get you a pen and a piece of paper, because I'm going to give you a lot of scriptures for you to read and check up for yourselves. Let's continue on with the teaching. Prophets of God have a judge who exposes, errors, and punishes sin. Building on Christ's foundations with carnal materials brings judgment. 1 Corinthians 3, 12-17 Christ's ministers are judged, judged by the Lord rather than merely by the church. 1 Corinthians 4, 1-5 Balaam desires to compromise for money, but God sent a dumbass. 2 Peter 2, 15-16 The Lord will expose false ministers and doctrine as fruitless and vain. 2 Timothy 3, 8-9 Boy, well, I've seen that before. God made Israel's priests contemptible for being partel in the law. Malachi 2, 1 through 3, and 8 and 9. Prophets of God are spiritual. Prophets of God are in spiritual war against thought and in their hearts. Of their, let, me, let me start that over, sorry. Prophets of God are in spiritual war against the thoughts of their hearers. A prophet's spiritual warfare is against your imaginations and thoughts. 2 Corinthians 10, 3-6 God's ways and thoughts are higher than ours. The prophets reveal them. Isaiah 55, 8-9 through 9. God uses prophets to hew, to cut, or to chop into pieces his rebellious people. Hosea 6-5 through 5. I've experienced that myself in my lifetime. Well, I've had some prophets of God step on my toes before. And it's not good to do that, but... I deserved every bit of it. God prepares prophets, teaches them his word, and stirs up their spirit. Titus 1, 10-14 Prophets of God are bound to warn their hearers of God's judgment. God told Ezekiel he would require his blood if he failed to warn Israel, Ezekiel 3, 16-21. Paul labored diligently to free himself from the blood of all men in Asia, Acts 20, 26. Timothy was responsible to take heed to the doctrine to save his hearers. 1 Timothy, Timothy 4, 16. And uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, I've been telling you about some prophetic dreams over the years that God has given me about judgment. Prophets of God give account of hearers to bring God's blessing or judgment. Korah and others provoked Moses to to the defilement of life 
in family, number 16, 4 through 30, receiving the and re, and treating a prophet with esteem brings God's prophet's reward. Matthew 10, 41. Paul was thankful and sought precious blessings upon one, I can't even pronounce that word, sorry. 2 Timothy 1, 15 through 18. Paul warned Hebrews, Paul warned Hebrew saints of the consequences in ministerial accounting, Hebrews thirteen seventeen. Prophets of God are his property and protected by his glorious power. He told kings, touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Psalms 105, 13-15 Abraham was a prophet, and God protected him from two kings. Genesis 12, 17, 20, verse 7 He warned Amalek and Becca enough to suggest their death penalty. Genesis 26, 11. When Korah and others mocked Moses, God intervened powerfully. Number 16, 4 through 30. Elijah took out two companies of 50 with their captains by God's fire. Second Kings one one through eighteen. A few children learn proper respect for a prophet from two bears. Second Kings two twenty three to twenty five. And in the New Testament. The Lord opened jails several times, Acts 5, 19, 12 through 6, 16 through 25. Prophets of God must be obeyed with great fear and dire consequences. God sent Ezekiel to Judah before he destroyed them with Nebuchadnezzar, Ezra, 2, 1 through 5. God, God's warning ought to be taken seriously both by prophet and hearers. Ezekiel 3, 16 to 21. Setting as the Lord's people and obeying his words are different things. Ezekiel 33, 27 through 33. Jesus promised worse judgment than Sodom for rejecting his teachers. Luke 10, 10 through 12. God rejects God's prophets with his commandments to be ignored. To reject God's prophets with his commandments is to be ignored. 1 Corinthians 14, 37 through 38. God chooses God's choice of words to Saul. Let me start that again. God's choice of words is soil, is soul death with those who err from his truth. James 5, 20. Prophets of God are supported by their hearers in an exchange that they that that is right and fair prophets are given spiritual things and you are given and you give them every good thing galatians 6 6 
They do not work for pay, but receive pay as necessary to the work. 1 Peter 5, 2. Most prophets of God make sure makes more or less than other pursuits. Hebrews eleven twenty four through twenty six as the nature of their qualifications presuppose above average abilities and leadership. Giving is essential to your economy's success. Proverbs 3, 9, and 9 through 10, 11, 24, Haggai 1, 3 through 11, Malachi 3, 8 through 12, and also your prophet's encouragement. 2 Corinthians 31 and 4, uh, Philippians 4, 10, 14 through 18, Intensive compensation is based on the minister's ruling and studying. 1 Timothy 5.17 God's gift plus members providing time will bear fruit. Proverbs 4 and 14 1 Timothy 4.15 Do you donate? to a prophet's ministry? Have you donated to a prophet's ministry? There is a prophet's reward out there for the people who do support God's prophets. If you want to know what that reward is, and, and more about that, go to my website at propheticinformationministry.com, click the donate button, and you'll see what the prophet's reward is. Prophets of God are but men, and they do fight sin and temptation as others. Got that right. Elijah was a man subject to like passions as we are, called fire from heaven in a revival service, and then afterwards desired death. What a great comfort. James 5, 17. Peter and Paul made similar professions omitting their humili humility. Acts 10, 26, 14 through 15. Paul admits he had the treasures of his ministerial gifts in an earth vessel. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. For this reason, the prophets of God are to take heed to themselves. 1 Timothy 4, 16, 6, 6 12. Corrupting a prophet can take down a whole church, and Satan knows this simple fact. So do not try to take down a prophet. Prophets of God need the saints to pray for God's blessing upon their work. Even the Lord Jesus prayed all night before he ordained his apostles. Luke 6, 12-16 When the apostles ordained deacons to save their precious time, they prayed Acts 6, 6. Teachers at Antioch fasted and prayed before and after the Spirit's call, Acts 13, 1-3. Paul begged for the prayers of God's saints for blessing him, Ephesians 6, 19, Colossians 4, 2-4. He was not ashamed to ask his saints to pray for him. First Thessalonians five twenty five, second Thessalonians three one, Hebrews thirteen eighteen. So yes, I do need your prayers. 
as you was listening to my first two teachings, I did mention that I am in a rehabilitation center. I am recovering from foot surgery. And I've got about three more weeks here. And I'm going to continue to do more teachings as the Lord leads. So I hope this teaching has blessed you. And, uh, you know, I'm getting ready to do an ordination here in about three or four weeks. And I've never done that before. But God knows how to get you out of your comfort zone. So... I'm going to be blessing a fellow minister here shortly, and it's going to change his life dramatically. And uh, I would encourage you, if you just turn tuned in to this part three, go back and listen to part one and two. Learn about the teachings of a prophet. So. I'm going to go ahead and close, and I want to thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, and I just want to say thank you for listening. Tell your friends and family about propheticinformationministries.com and godsmiracleministry.com. When I get out of here, I'm going to be updating my websites, but there is a lot of good teachings on there, so I'd encourage you to go and check out those teachings and later on I'm, I will put up the full teaching on the prophets of God onto the website so you can learn more about the prophets of God I do have a teaching up there on the fivefold ministry and what's in the office of the apostle prophet pastor teacher and evangelist that way you can already go see that but I'll be putting this new teaching up there as well well until next time, this is Minister Robert Lee Williams from propheticinformationministries.com and godsmiracleministry.com. God bless each and every one of you. And please tell me in the comments below and what you thought about the teachings. Thanks and God bless you.